Meanwhile, in. Meanwhile, in me trying to throw off the director. Anyway, meanwhile, in the North Pole, apparently the tipping point for irreversible climate change might have already been passed when it comes to uh, Arctic summer ice. We have Dr. Marcus Rex. So Dr. Marcus Rex was involved in this year long expedition of the North Pole involving um, hundreds of scientists. Says the disappearance of summer sea ice in the Arctic is one of the first landmines in this minefield. One of the tipping points that we set off first when we push warming too far. And one can essentially ask if we've already stepped on this mine and already set off the beginning of the explosion. So uh, 20 different countries sent 300 different scientists for a year to the Arctic. They actually spent most of the pandemic there, which seems like a good, pretty good place to do it actually. Um, and so what's the problem? What are they finding? Well, there's way less ice than there was before. So why is that so significant? Well, it's significant because the white ice sheets which cover the Arctic help to reflect solar rays and heat back into space. This allows Earth climate to stay relatively cool and without it, temperatures could spiral out of control. That's because as the snow and ice melt, the darker ground beneath the freezing surface absorbs more sunlight. So that is both true um, in uh, on ground, actual land in the Arctic. It's also true for Arctic sea ice, uh, which reflects far more of the sunlight than the darker ocean water that it's covering. So uh, you get less ice because of the heating and you get more heating because of the less ice. It's a vicious cycle, as they say. Well, I mean, all we have to do is put it in the freezer or something, right? <laughs> this, the, the whole thing about not being able to revert back to what it was, um, I think gets way understated, you know, because we still still see snow in Minnesota in January. You know, mm -hmm. it's such a small a, a approach to a larger problem. Just pay attention to it. Like no one is attacking based off of telling you what the reality is in different places that you haven't been. So we like to. Uh, criticize politicians if they don't go to the border because they can't talk about the border issue without being at the border to stand there with their sleeves rolled up and say, I'm at the border. But you have scientists and smart people that go and study a place like the, at, like the Arctic and go and, and tell us what's happening there. And when they come yeah. back and tell you, I was there, this is what's happening, we go, ah, oh, paid off scientists. <laughs> They do, they do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it is incredibly frustrating. Oh, By the way, I was there too. <laughs> we had to go quite far north to hit sea ice, by the way. Um, it was a different, it was a climate change, but it was a different thing. It wasn't, wasn't that mission. But um, but anyway, a massive problem, obviously. We, we like to occasionally return to this, just to remind people how significant it is. Please don't forget about this with all of the other stuff that we have to deal with. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.